Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, well, sitting here, uh, after I tried to figure out what is going on, and I have discovered I don't know if I'll ever be able to find out what's going on. So we're going to Haromont, Haromont, what was the name of the dude? Haromont. I was close. Haromont's estate to talk to the lord here. Maybe the butler will give us a little something. Welcome to Lord Haromont's estate. Not much. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, well. Doolin. Whoever Doolin is, we'll talk to him. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender. Second to Lord Haromont. King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. I would speak with Lord Haramont. In an ordinary time, Lord Haramont would be honored to meet you. Unfortunately, we've already caught more than one of Balin's spies approaching Haramont under a pretense of friendship. Mm -hmm. so I'm afraid I won't be able to take your word. If you want to speak to Haramont, you will need to prove he can trust you. What do you want me to do? Denounce him publicly? If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Haramont's name. Okay. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. Mm -hmm. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Haramont's best fighters into stepping down. Ooh, how? Do you want me to find out why your fighters dropped out? That would be enlightening. Though I hope you won't pry too deeply into things they don't wish revealed. If you wish to show your loyalty, enter the proving as his lordship's champion. Okay. With your order's reputation, I've no doubt the ancestors would favor your arm. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Haramont would have no fear of meeting with you then. I'll enter and see why the others withdrew. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the Proving Master and tell him you're entering Lord Haramont's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. Mm -hmm. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find okay. me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. Well, that's an idea. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see how that goes. And I guess now I am choosing a side. Because I might not have much of a choice in that regard. Well, might as well go through this door. See what's going on over here. A scroll from Endrin Audukin. Audukin. I don't friggin' know how to pronounce any of that. Probably breaking into these chests is not a good idea. So, let's not do that. But I think I'm done with the thing I'm doing. Well... I guess. The what? I walk out and then I hear someone screaming. That was weird. Okay. Um. It'll be two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors. How can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone off. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Okay. Yeah. 
interesting. Can you believe it? Algren's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Who is Algren? Algren's a drunk. Algren. He comes up here two, three times a week, hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. I think I know what they mean by gilded him, but for the folks at home. Well, he killed Lord Mino's youngest son in a duel to first blood. Yeah, that's it was bad. A huge scandal. Ogren should have been executed, but he'd won honors in the deep roads. Mm -hmm. Instead, they stripped him of all weapons and forbid him from engaging in fights within city limits. If he breaks the decree, he'll be exiled. Ah, that explains a bit. Also, also, it didn't really explain uh, what gelding means. And for the interest of the innocent minds at home, I shall not go further than what already has been said. Why does Ogryn care so much about Branka? The button would work. <sighs> She's still okay. his wife, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Even if she took their entire house into the deep roads and abandoned him. Oh. Branka was married to that drunk? Is that why you two were arguing about Bronca? It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing, but Ogryn wants to keep risking lives searching. Why did Bronca go into the deep roads? Chasing some old treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. Can you blame her? She never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the dark spot. I mean... She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. That sounds about right. How'd she become a paragon? She invented a smokeless fuel that let the smith cast increase their output by nearly a third. Hmm. Deaths from the black lung also dropped. The assembly said she had the favor of the ancestors and declared her a paragon. They moved Bronca, Ogren, and all their relatives to the noble caste and founded a new house in her name. Hmm. Okay, I should get going now. Did you see any guardsmen tell him Ogren was at it again? Nah, I think he has a legitimate reason for complaining, so... I'll let him, uh, I'll let him do the complaining. It's a noble and council writ on dwarven propriety. Interesting, okay. Adal Helmi, didn't I talk to you? You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. I mean, that makes sense. I've already been in the, the estate. Okay, you, you can just continue talking to the air, bro. Okay, I don't want to... Royal Palace. Well, I'm allowed in, so there's that. Um... No one enters the prince's estate without an invitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I can go in here, though. And the throne of Orzammar. Okay. I think I am officially lost. <laughs> Can't even talk to the prince to see if I can get the quest line for him started or something. What? What? What the what? Tunneling thief? What? 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 Okay, could I get unstunned, please? Be nice. Ooh. 
Okay. And eventually, I guess we're gonna finish that one off. Ancestors. Good on you, Warden. You caught them in the act. I guess desperate times drive people to strange things. Oh yeah. You're welcome, by the way. Rock salve. Increases the user's armor and physical resistance, but decreases movement speed and attack speed. Alright, that explains a bit. Take that for sure. Sir, injury kit. Okay. Thanks again, Warden. You're welcome. Even though technically I wasn't intentionally trying to help, but I helped nonetheless, which is why I'm a good guy. Glass phylactery. Many of King Endrin's belongings have been rushed into storage, including trophies of his long reign. Among the boxes is a small glass phylactery. The area is unnaturally cold. Dark shapes swirl around a slip of paper within the vial. Take the vial? The glass fractures at your touch. Whoop. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, we're doing this again, I guess. Okay. Joy. Doing this again. At least this time we're not doing it with 13 other enemies around. That's the main benefit, I guess. Ow. Okay. Oop. Okay, well that's good that I got healed at least. Okay. Time for a quick heal. <laughs> okay, well... It's time to make you heal. And time to make me heal. Okay. Oh. Oh. I did it. I did it. Whew. That was lucky. Whew, that was lucky. Deventer shield. Greater ice salve. Greater health poultice. And a scrap of paper. What is this about? A dirt encrusted piece of paper. Okay. Huh. Well. Dwarven longsword. Short bow. Not a lot of things that are useful. Huh. Well. A diamond mall. And this mall bears the how bears the mouth. 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 <laughs> Uh, my brain broke. I'm sorry. Um, this mall bears the mark of Smith House Uldra, forged for the guards of the Diamond Quarter. Interesting. Deventer Shield. This bears the emblem of the Imperium on its face. Mm. Let's see. Is this better than my current shield that I'm wearing? Technically? Although my shield is more of a tanky thing, as is my sword, the tanky thing. Hmm. Eh, I'll keep it off. I'll throw it in the junk, even. Alright. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I got her something, but I just didn't get it dealt with yet. I'll eventually do that. Gloves of diligence. Heavy gloves. A stillness surrounds these gauntlets as if it would stop blows from striking them. With no chips or dents, they almost look new. When equipped with a set with in a set with the armor and boots of diligence, the character gains a bonus to willpower. Hmm. Interesting. 
Interesting indeed. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Huh. I just realized that one of the... Yeah, it was momentum. Huh. Don't know why momentum broke. Interesting. I am sure if I take from this, I'm going to piss someone off. Well, nothing ventured. One second. Okay. Now then. A love letter. A note between wealthy paramours. Hmm. And duster leather gloves. At least part of this looks like it was cut from a lady's handbag. The rest of... The rest was pieced together from who knows what. Gains a bonus to armor. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well. Just like you wanted. Well, yeah, it was just like how I wanted. Uh, I was just expecting someone to attack me for it. The answer is currently no. No, they won't. Interesting. Rather interesting. And I was about to say, yeah, still showing as sparkling even though nothing will really happen. No one enters the prince's estate without an invitation. Mm. All right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. Then we'll get out of here. Not much else reason to be in there if I'm not even allowed in. <sighs> Chamber of the Assembly. Greetings. Greetings? What is all this? I'm kind of curious. Is it just molten metal? If so, why? Why do, why do you let it pool here? I'm... I already visited that place. Okay, so... I guess the assembly... Chamber of the Assembly is where I want to go, maybe? Far tag. I'm not sure. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Okay. Or I could talk to Vartag here. Warden, welcome. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? I need aid against a blight. Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's library. Now, the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those right now. Mm hmm. Can I talk to Balin? You must understand. Haramont hides behind his good reputation while sending spies and assassins. Balin can't know who to trust. It's been like a knife in the heart for Balin to see so many of his father's men stand with the usurper. I thought King Endrin himself supported Haramont. That hurts worst of all. That Haramont would take advantage of the dying king's delirium to plant such poisonous suspicions against his own son. Ah. Uh... You understand why Balin cannot trust the word of a stranger, however reputable that stranger might be. What must I do to prove my good intentions? Aramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. Mm -hmm. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception, I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. 
What kind of evidence? Aramond promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Aramond can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramond gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Where did you get them? That's not important. If they ask, say you found them while searching the Shaper's libraries for your tree. Isn't there someone you could report him to? Normally, the Shapers would handle this sort of accusation. They are the scholars who manage our laws, histories, and genealogies. They are the final arbiters of all disputes in Orzammar. Unfortunately, the Shaper of Memories is the most important among them. And his grandfather was Lord Haramont's aunt's first cousin. Obviously, we cannot expect him to offer an unbiased opinion. Lord Haramont's aunt's first cousin. There's at least three to four different degrees of separation. And you're claiming that that isn't enough? He'd hold a distant relative over his duty? I guess I can't expect you surfacers to understand the importance of family in Orzammar. The Shaper is biased, and if you want Prince Balin's help, you'll have to show where your loyalties lie. Will you do it? I'll have to think about this. Don't expect this offer to last. If my prince hears you swore allegiance to his enemy, he won't be so friendly next time. I will be here if you change your mind. Okay. Alright. Well, let's enter the chamber and see how this will turn out. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Desher's lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore. Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. Okay. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Well. Stone forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. You don't recognize a Grey Warden? Forgive me. I am so exhausted. I completely forgot about the message from the Gate Guard. Welcome to Orzabar, Warden. I hope you can forgive our That's unrest. The yeah. loss of our king has hit us hard. Understandable. Respect for your role is great. But you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. Is there any way I can break this stalemate? I must admit, Warden, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harriman, and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Hmm. Okay. Well... Let's let's recap here, just so I also have a recap in my own head. We have Lord Harriman's request, which makes sense. Their fighters have dropped out for reasons unknown in the proving. A proving that Balin is hosting. They don't know why the fighters have dropped out. They're asking me to investigate and also pose as one of his champions. Whereas Balin accuses Haramont of bribery and essentially fraud. 
due to promising a portion of the estate to two lords that is apparently, or I'm at least led to believe, so large that it can't be promised to two of them at once. But then again, I'm not sure. One, this one is just outright bribery. This one implies bribery. Huh. Well, let me investigate the other things first. The other things with the proving in regards to the fighters that Lord were for God. Haramont. If the... Oh, the shut up. Is Lord a of the okay. So, if Haramont's fighters dropped out for reasons other than being bribed, then that's one thing. So, I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. Um... I I can't imagine what you mean. I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing your protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens. That no one decides to just burn everything in your store. Uh, my store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T tell Jarvia I'll get her money. I... Jarvie is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back. Um... That can't be good. I feel like I need to step in for this. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then <laughs> allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Mm -hmm. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you I happy. see what he's so trying to do. So you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Take a good look. Do you really want to start this? Whoa, whoa. All right, you win. I'm not going to die for ten lousy sovereigns. Well... That worked. <laughs> Better than I could have ever hoped. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. What do you know about this Jarvia? I... I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's, uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. What do you know about Arkarta? A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals, really? and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. They're children as well? You go that far? Their births are abominations. They were born from no Kalna, with no acknowledgement by the Shapers. They are destined to be criminals. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Yeah, I'll see. What do you have for sale? I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford, I assure you. You... Oh, uh, I see. I was about to say, I was a little confused when you didn't have anything. 
But uh, apparently it was just because I was in the weapons tab, which is what you don't sell. Fair enough. All right. Buy that. That's good. Greater health poultice recipe? I can get a lesser injury kit recipe. Well, I can't turn that down. At all, really. All right. So anything? Nah, I don't really need that. Don't really need that either. Okay. Um, a remarkable emerald. Interesting. I wish you had more backpack space, but unfortunately you don't sell that. Uh, well, I can't I get it. I want it. Mm. Okay. I guess I'll have to live without... Alrighty. Sell all junk. There we go. That should be good. Yeah, that should be fine. That was the wrong button. I meant to hit that button. Um. Huh. Yeah, okay. I, th I consider this good enough. Okay, let's go to that area for the proving and see if we can learn anything through that. So tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always return. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really don't. Ah, that's the company. Okay. Okay, well, if the, uh, if no one understood what was meant by the company, you're too Blood young for this channel. For the masses at its best. Of course. But as I was saying, if you didn't understand what she meant by company, you're too young for this channel. Okay, so let's talk to... Not the Proving Master. Let's talk to... Who was it? Proving Fan, huh? Where is... Huh? What was that? Excuse me. Pardon me? Excuse me? What is this? What is this I'm hearing right now? What are these shenanigans I'm listening to? I have no idea who you are. I don't know what to think about that noise, but it is greatly unsettling. I'm just gonna walk away. Okay, all right. Um, Orzammar. Hmm. Filled a sun ruck. Track down a thief who stole a tome from the Shaperit. Bald head and garish tattoos. Wait a second. Was he the same as that guy I ran into in that one shop in the commons? Maybe. Maybe. 
Basil Harrimont, one of Harrimont's fighters, has decided not to fight Gwydion. Gwydion. Okay, Gwydion. Prince's favor. Okay. Basil was over here. There. There he is. Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? I've never seen you before in my life. Nor I you, but it's pretty obvious who you're working for. Who do you think I'm working for? So I take it you weren't sent here to find out if I withdrew from the Proving. In that case, never mind. Harriman's hurt that his own cousin would walk out on him. Oh, don't put it that way. Look, it's just when I was younger, I had a thing with this <laughs> Blocked bully. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. So you're afraid your affair will be exposed? She's married to a prominent Desher's heir. We should have stopped a long time ago, but I love her. Do you know Aww. what that's like? Now Balin found out, and I can't even help my cousin for fear he'll tell her husband. So, he accuses Harrimont of blackmail while he's also blackmailing his cousin. Wow, the balls on this guy. Fuck, dude. <laughs> the fucking cojones. The chutzpah. <laughs> What evidence does Balin have? They have letters. Love letters Revelka wrote me. If they were made public, she'd be disgraced. Her husband would cast her aside, and I would be lucky to be allowed to die in a duel. Would you fight again if your secret was safe? There's no way to guarantee that. I appreciate the thought, but they really have me over a shaft here. I'm sure that phrasing was intentional. But it couldn't keep my brain from giggling. <laughs> Did Balin threaten you himself? No, no. One of his fighters, a woman named Miyaja, she's the one who threatened to expose me. I can get those letters back. You do that? I don't know how to thank you. I, I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. If you can make sure that evidence doesn't get out, I'd be happy to fight in the proving. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. No, you're right. Well. Varric. I think I recognize that name. You're doing that music again. Hmm. Miaja. This area is off limits. Combatants only. I hear you've been threatening Harrowmont's fighters. Is that an accusation? Yeah. It's illegal to threaten proving fighters outside the ring. Not helping them keep their dirty secrets, though. That's another story. I'd like to see those letters. I bet you would. Just help Basil Harriman to fight. Then you'll see them on the front page of a broadsheet. Come on, Luke John. We have a fight to prepare for. You are quickly overstepping your welcome. Oh, yeah? Quickly overstepping your welcome. Oh, am I? I'm going to keep going until it's all done. Okay. Allow me. I could do that for you. Oh, uh, would you now? <laughs> well, let's see. Ah, uh, tis you. Well, well, well. Allow me. I could do that for you. Well, let's hope you can. Because so far. Old love letters between Basil Harrimont and Revelka Edukan. Hmm. What now? Well, they seem to have found a way into my pocket. How interesting. Hmm. How very interesting. Why does this place have to have the creepiest noise? Oh, God. Get, it. I, I, get out, 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 get out. The proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. I have your letters right here. 
Where did you get those? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to know. Just thank you. You're welcome. I can't say what it means to know my Revelka is safe. I can never turn away a man in love. I will be glad to fight for Harrimont in the Provings. Thank you again, friend. You're welcome. All right. Cool. Now that's done. Okay, why why we gotta keep doing noises like that? Oh, and we have to do it in here too. Thank you ever so much for all of that, because that's what I want. Wojek. The fuck is Wojek? Well, here's Gwiden. You new in the fights? Gwiden. I don't remember seeing hell. you before. I mean, you don't get out much. I'm Tomas of the Grey Wardens. It's a pleasure. Sorry it can't be longer. Name's Guidon, and I just tendered my Guidon. resignation. Guidon, okay. Somehow I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. Why did you resign? It's not so much what happened as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harriman's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. That's ridiculous. He isn't conceding. Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? Doolin, and I'm rallying honorable fighters for Harrowmont. I, uh... I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Get back to the proving and knock some heads. Maybe I will at that. Well, that worked out beautifully. And I didn't even need to step in. Again with this. Every time. Every time. God's damn. Every time. Okay. Now that I've done that, I can officially say I think I'm done with that regard. So, let me get this straight. Oh boy. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Mm. Do you ever regret leaving the Tentry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I would tell them that I was just checking. Oh, you never know, right? I... No, I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. I bet it was. I bet it was. Uh, Alastair is just the type of little shit that I enjoy. <laughs> Alright. Um... Dust Town. I haven't actually been down there. You never know when you might walk straight, in, straight into a dragon's lair save often. Well, I mean, true. But, uh, let's turn momentum back on. Perfect. Uh. Okay! Well, this is definitely taking a turn. Wow, this is extremely, extremely crazy. Now, better than later. Okay. Well. Well. This is going to be a problem otherwise. Okay. Somehow managed to survive it. Somehow. <laughs> Barbarian axe. 
Didn't expect to see that. Explanation of the cast list. Huh. Rogic. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. I'm Tomas, a Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. I'd have to hear what you're asking. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian. The sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. Mm -hmm. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead. At the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. It must be dangerous if you're paying so much. More so for someone like you, I guess. Most yeah, dwarves born true. down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is that lyrium's valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. <sighs> I don't have that kind of money. As long as you keep your eyes down and your mouth shut, we've got no further business. Okay, fair enough. Well, so much for that. Alrighty, and with that, I'm going to end the episode because I'm a little bit over time. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and, I guess, helping Harrowmont because so far we've helped him the most. And uh, going to be choosing his side, which quite frankly sounds like the better side. Um, because it seems like Balin is really willing to do a whole bunch of things that he claims that Harrowmont is doing. And we're just going to explore Dust Town just to get the last bits of other quests taken care of. Hopefully it works out. And if it doesn't, oh well. Hopefully it does. For you.